Hello, hello. Thank you for staying here um, during lunchtime. Um, right, we're going to start. Hello, everyone. My name is Chiao. Um, I'm representing ZK Amoeba. It's a privilege to be here at Falcoin Day in Istanbul. Some of you already know me as a former team member uh, at Orange in Storage. If you don't know me, then I was a storage provider before. Um, so I was also an early believer in the transformative potential of Filecoin. And my journey has given me a deep appreciation for the uh, victories and the challenges miners and users face in this ecosystem. So from that background, earlier this year, one of our visionary founders, Henry, he uh, started this project uh, to build a layer, one, layer two on top of Filecoin. And later, I had a privilege to join the team. Um, so we're the first Filecoin ZK row up layer two. Um, next here. Let's look at some of the challenges on Filecoin right now. One of the main issues we've seen is the slow block speed. The block validation and confirmation on Filecoin mainnet is time consuming and this leads to a slow transaction speed and it hampers the high frequency FEVM uh, transactions. And there's a low data structure which limits our efficient use of the data on Filecoin. As more uh, users join and the demand for data storage rises, low TPS transaction uh, limitation restricts scalability and real-time use of the network. So these challenges have great impact to Filecoin ecosystem. First, it limits the development of the Filecoin ecosystem. Slow block confirmation hinders the timely deployment of FEVM applications on the mainnet. The limitation restricts community involvement. And when the market is looking up and there's a bullish trend, when everyone is tr ready to move fast and expand, these, these limitations act as bricks. So based on these challenges and impacts, we built ZK Amoeba. We're a layer two on FEVM. And our goal is to address the slow block confirmation speed. Our goal is to forge an ecosystem that can work in tandem with uh, Filecoin to bring up new efficiencies, enhance the data storage capabilities, and to provide some additional incentives for miner. And later I'll talk about the, the new incentives. In this, in this chart here, uh, we have an estimate TPS of 37,188. This number um, is an estimate number from the range of Filecoin TPS on the lower right side. Our, EV our EVM is written in Rust and our TPS is almost 20 times the mainnet. Um, the exact number right now is 19.6. We are still optimizing our numbers. Our short-term goal is 20x. Oops. This is a comparison to other L1 and L2s. Compared to other L1 and L2s, transaction on ZK Amoeba will undergo spatial temporal sorting optimization or space-time sorting optimization, which can prevent front-running and sandwich attacks. Uh, this chart here um, is, a, is our user flow. This will present our sustainable node economy. When a user is paying transaction fee, um, it goes first goes to server, the validators, and then the validator pays a fee to the prover. So the prover, the server income is the L2 transaction fee minus the L2 base fee minus the L1 transaction fee minus prover fee, and prover income is the prover fee minus the um, hardware cost. Uh, here on the lower left corner, this is our index layer. So we have an uh, index layer 
when when user saves data, it's saved to our index layer with this retrieval. Um, this, this basically provides like a, a easy way for you to retrieve in the future because it will save your file name, the CID name. Can you are are you guys able to see it? It's a it's a little small. This is our uh, technical architecture. On the left side, it's same with other layer twos, but on the right side is uh, our special feature. We help Filecoin onboard data by creating a layer two data caching layer. This is also the method most SPs use these days. User data will be collected to ZK Amoeba storage nodes and Amoeba storage app that I'll present later. It's, it's also in, in this uh, in, in this presentation, data will be processed and uploaded to a Filecoin storage network with the help of FEVM. This is our architectural detail. This is more relevant to the miners, where like I came from the miners background, and I I think this is super helpful. Um, the, the server main node has a server contract, which is this the scheduler, and the scheduler is there to uh, sorting to arranging tasks to different nodes, and this one main node can be connect to multiple external nodes. We're splitting the uh, here. If you look at the external node A, in here we're splitting the proof calculation procedure with the compressor procedure. So the equipment of the provider will, can dynamically adjust system resources and achieve a higher efficiency. Um, meaning the compressor need to run a longer task that cannot be stopped, but the, uh, the proof calculation procedure, while, while your equipment is idle, you can mine other, like for example, if you're mining Falcon, you can mine ZK Amoeba at the same time. Uh, these are our pr equipment parameters. We have done extensive research and development on our proofing algorithm, and we test and optimize the operations with existing Filecoin storage providers so they can run on their servers. The prover, for the prover calculation part, you need at least eight core CPU, 16G uh, memory, 32G storage space, 16G uh, NVIDIA GPU and CUDA version 12. And the prover, uh, prover compression, you will need 16 CPU, a memory of six, more than 66, hard disk is 300G. Uh, these are the, the minimum requirements. As long as your equipment is better than this, you're able to participate. Our computing power unit is measured by how many proof batches are proved per hour is P slash H, and there will be an algorithm of how, how to calculate your computer power. This is our um, algorithm framework. We use Plunk as our proofing, uh, proofing system. The setup generates uh, a public parameters that are uh, hard-coded into a layer one smart contract. These parameters play a crucial role in enabling proof computation, which is subsequently verified within the same contract. This approach harnesses capabilities of zero-knowledge proofs, allowing transaction validation um, without reviewing specific details. And the, the benefits would be privacy, security, and efficient verification. Each batch of transactions in ZK Amoeba will undergo these four rounds of proof, where each round requires the proof from the previous round and the data generated in the previous round as input parameters. Uh, there's basic circuits, leaf aggregation circuits, node aggregation circuits, scheduler circuit. In, in this slide here is how we achieve our security um, first is, as I mentioned, is the uh, isolation and redundancy. Only block submit by authorized sorters can submit state transitions to L1 uh, contracts. And each transaction submitted by sorter undergoes simple execu uh, execution verification before being included in the block. 
Um, yeah, and there's the trust minimized, minimized uh, upgradeability. And we have a console comprised uh, of 15 representatives and a 24-7 on-chain intelligent monitoring system. This is a comparison of other layer twos on Ethereum and Filecoin. So you can see here, compared to other layer twos, we improved uh, income of nodes, so server and prover can both earn, um, earn income, and we improve data storage, and there's bandwidth rewards. Meaning like when you retrieve, you still get rewards. Uh, here are our use cases. In our ecosystem, there will be DeFi, NFT, gaming, infrastructure, payments, and this is uh, like the current state of our ecosystem. We have some completed projects on our, uh, on our testnet already, and some are in progress, and we have way more like planned. These are our key differentiators we mentioned earlier. Um, the FEVM is our, uh, our virtual mach machine is written in Rust, and an uh, instant uh, finality and decentralized from day one anti-running transactions, robots and security, easy for developers. Here I highlighted, highlighted three um, apps on our testnet. The first is the storage. This is uh, when we, the previous slide, when we go through the architecture part, we have this, um, this storage layer, Amoeba storage. It's a decentralized private cloud storage solution built on ZK Amoeba, so it will be very easy for users on our uh, blockchain to, on our L2 to use. And the A index is part of our infrastructure at, as well. This is a front phase of the indexing and retrieval. And DB swap is live on our testnet. It's a, it's a, it's a, like a, a DEX. DeFi on our, um, on our L2. This is our roadmap. We started earlier this year, and now our testnet is live, and if you go to our website, uh, www.zkamiba.com, there's a documentation for, um, for storage providers or participants who want to know more, and you can look at guys on our website and join, participate in the testnet. Um, we still have a lot planned, so there's still a long way to go. And these are the partners we listed. Uh, we talked to almost all the storage provider that we know. You know, here are some like big names in the, in the ecosystem. And almost 60, more than 60 and 70 percent of computing power on Filecoin right now is supporting us as our infrastructure backer. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. And um, I, we created this. If you scan here, we create a Telegram group. Uh, our engineer is in the group, and he can answer any technical questions you guys may have. And the link tree will lead to all other uh, our social medias.